everyone, Tim Persley here. Lorentz just released new software updates for their Gen 3 HDS and their Elite TI 5 and 7s. Uh, hopefully the update for the uh, 9 and 12s will be out, so, uh, out soon for the Elite series. But as it is right now, we've got those. Uh, um, I'm going to walk you through uh, how to do the update and some of the uh, key features, unfortunately. Uh, I live in Canada. It's February, so I won't be able to do any of the on-water demonstrations, but I'll give you a little idea of what the updates entail. Thanks. If you go to Laurent's site and go to support, you'll see uh, on that tab there's software updates. The uh, software version for, or sorry, the software version uh, for the Gen 3 HDS is version uh, 4.5, and for the Elite TI, it's 2.5. Uh, like I said, go there, click on whichever version applies to you, either the uh, if you're running the Gen 3 or the Elite TI. Click on the, uh, the link to that, download um, that software update, and then all you've got to do is uh, transfer that from your computer onto a micro SD card. Once you've got the software downloaded onto a micro SD card, uh, loading it's pretty simple. Just uh, take out the card, open your SD or micro SD slot, and put the card in. Once the card's in, just power up your unit. The unit should recognize that there's a software update in there. Just, just let it do its thing. And there you have it. Software's updated, ready to roll. One of the improvements with the software update is surface clarity. That makes a huge difference for anglers fishing shallow water or top half of the water column. It allows them to remove clutter caused by suspended sediment, uh, wave action, or other disturbances without affecting fish targets. Uh, one of the big improvements now with this software update is you can now, with your Navionics uh, mapping cards, you can do sonar charts live right on your unit. Unfortunately, like I said, this is February in Canada. I can't uh, get out there and do an on-water display with it, but uh, I'll show you. I'll add a link to the descriptors and that'll show you the sonar charts live mapping uh, right on the uh, Lorentz unit. Another key feature to the uh, software update is the ability for Navionics Plotter Sync. Uh, with the Navionics Plotter Sync, you can easily download the latest Navionics chart data and transfer your waypoints and routes between your Navionics app and your Navionics card um, through, wi through Wi Fi connectivity with your, your Gen 3. Uh, HDS or your Elite TI. Uh, the great thing about this is you no longer have to pop your your uh, card out of your unit and bring it to, uh, to your computer and do your daily updates uh, on your computer now with the uh, with Plotter Sync you can update it uh, through your mobile device all you gotta do go to your mobile device using the Navionics app go to your menu update as you can see, I got about 350 megabytes worth of updates. So let's update everything. All right. Now that our updates are complete on our mobile app, all we got to do go to our unit, 
go to settings, go to wireless, turn on our wireless. settings on our mobile go to our Wi-Fi see there's our gen 2 there's our gen 3 HDS 9 let's connect to that we'll go back to our Navionics app See our Lawrence HDS9 is connected. Checking for card status. Now we're inland. Okay, apply. As you can see, plotter sync is working. So now it's updating my charts on my Lawrence uh, unit on the uh, Navionics card. And it's also transferring any waypoints, uh, tracks, and that. And that's all there is to it. Now the uh, my Navionics um, charts on my HDS unit will be up to date, and I didn't have to go to my kayak, pull out the uh, card, go inside to the computer, and uh, do my updates that way.